Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. things over. I said I was going to do a water bottle because that would happen. There, there it there is. Was, there it was. There it was. The elbows, they flow. Hey, everybody. Hi. Let's fire this up. Okay. Uh, bu- 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 Wait, no, actually, actually, sorry. What's the minute mark on the original? Uh, I should have the 229. Oh, wow. Versus 543. That's a lot. Holy yeah. butts. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure it's zero, zero. All right, here we go. Our first time ever seeing Final Fantasy XIV Dawn trailer. Full trailer. Yes, full trailer. Uh, courtesy. Not those fake trailers. Of our, <laughs> uh, I'm there's actually a lot of them, yeah. What? There's a lot of fa- fake trailers. Are, oh, fake trailers. Oh, yeah. Epidemic. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, those are awful. Yeah. They get my, like, cousins, man. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Play the thing. Yep. Oh, we're just getting straight into it. Yeah. You know, we got the shiny shoes. I've got a square Enix, squares. But this rendition sounds a little different. It's a little... Oh, let's, let's see when the Bun Boy shows up. Clear skies and boundless Have you ever been to the Caribbean? Think on a cruise? Because it actually looks like yeah, that. Yeah, no, it does. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean. But you can just see it's angry at boats coming by. Just to destroy Enjoying it. yourself for a change? We're at half speed? They've made it. No, no, no. Yeah. Maybe, maybe people are watching a double speed. You know, I get that. People are like, "Ah, oh, you sound different." Watch everything we do at double speed. Still, yeah. Uh, we're not going to full screen because that tends to get you flagged on YouTube, everybody. Yep. Ooh, ooh, that, ooh. Come now. They were. There's this no was in the previous. Oh yeah. Show. Well, not the not the bushwhacking part though. Got the tiger. Oh, they did. Oh, look at that. Too. This one might make for a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I was so stoked for this during the uh, the London trailer. Yeah. AFI is also one of my favorite parts. This is just Monster Hunter AF right here. Oh, yeah. She needs cats. Seasoning. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Got lizard cats. Oh, is this new? I feel like that white shot's new. Yeah, they didn't do the reflector there. But this guy, he's in that dungeon. Like, we fought him. Yep. He's dead. Yeah, well, I mean, they did this to us with the Shadowbringers uh, cutscene. Remember, like, bosses from Realm of Born Hard Dungeons were in there. <laughs> See, I love this. I-, I love the, like, we're burning away the Asians. Come on. Like, we're done. We're done. We get rid of the robes. We're, we're done with robes and mass, but burn it all. I like that it's still there, though, because it's reminding us, like, where we come yeah. from. And that we are, in fact, like... Oh, those are... We're still an Asian. <laughs> Great. So, so far, this is all, this is all, we've seen this all before. Most of it, just little tiny inserts. That was in two. That was in two. Yep. A, lot of a little change. extra nut. <laughs> tiny bit. Here, here we go. Here we go. A little extra nut. Because we just went straight to the thing, Crippy, and like, working hard. Might you have a moment to speak further? Because character nuts. 
See, he's working. I don't think this was. No, this is, this is brand spanking new. You make friends. And th wasn't Thancred the first time we saw the Nutkin as a uh, genital sensor device? Yeah, exactly. At any point, his clothes could fall. Nutkins are a right Fire looks nice. Oh, I love that. Give yourself a silver. Now I'm Darth Maul. Even though that's funny, he's having it. He's having a great loves, loves combat. Okay. Oh, no um, open wide. So the open wide was a special trailer one thing. Yeah, the the, sound, the music track is completely different at this point. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I knew it was Pectomancer because I saw Pectomancer all over, like, oh, is that, typed is that all the over Twitter. Oh, jeez, look at that. I didn't crush. know it was Cryo. Oh, it's Goopy. That's good. Yo, those effects. Gonna make a Mickey? What? Whoa. Whoa. Bunny? What? Oh! Oh, one of those elemental yes. beasties. I forget what those are called. And then it. Oh, oh. I love the so, look of this. It's so Pixar. It's so Disney. That looks great. It just gives me, like, uh, symphony vibes. Oh. Unless oh. you somehow think this is, like, a, a cutscene for a different MMO. Well, that's heading out to the west, right? Oh, like we've seen, really bio we've seen some concept art for the that western Red Rock area. Oh, cool. looks so freaking good. It's pretty. Cool. Look there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Behold the scene of our next great. Why were we obscuring him? You and your adventure. He's just an Alpha No ass looking Alpha No. I trust you have not forgotten the true world. What we're watching. I need to back it up already. Okay. Yeah, see, oh! There's Nala! You that's Nala. that's, where, that that's where it came yeah. from. Okay, everyone's excited about female Hrothgar. There's been a lot of talk about, like, the muzzle and whether or not it's muzzly enough. It's tough. It's, it's balancing. It's, it is bouncing out to Because I've never been big into Lady Tori. Oh, sure. sure. My gut reaction is I really like how the Lady Hrothgar looks. That's what it is, right? I mean, that's, yeah. So they wouldn't do something new, and they've been promising that for a bit. Or the, at least. Right? That would make sense. Yeah. Because and, and we just got male bun boys, right? So to start filling in some of the other gender locked exactly. gaps, uh, makes sense. All right, I want to back it up. I already have the first thing I want to back up to, which okay. is them talking on the boat here, because I missed whatever. I was I, I was flabbergasted that they redacted Alphano up until this point, and he doesn't even have an awkward prepubescent mustache. Well, so you show so story structure wise, it would be a perfect chance. I'm assuming, you know, we're still not done with Endwalker, but I'm assuming this would be your story structure time. This is where we'd like to do the table the shot in here. We we go to the we, we so, watch the so, stop future editing. Okay, sorry, uh, but. He completed his mission, you know, from Crystal Braves all the way to becoming the savior that he was trying to be and dealing with his paw. It would be the perfect time for him to fart off and like go astral if he wanted to, you know, ride that, mm. ride that dinghy into become, the stars. Become Urian Jay's best friend. Yeah, well, just, uh, or, you know, Gotsetsu, like wander off. So the fact mm. that they were teasing it, you know, there is an element of teasing that does work in a. Well, it could be, maybe he's a gleaner now. Maybe him and... Good, that, I mean, that, yeah, he's not... I mean, he's still in his outfit with all his odometers and stuff. He's still got his Ghostbusters regalia, so... That's I fair. would say he's still scioning. That's fair. That's fair. He looks very scion. All right, let's hit play. I want to see what he says. Okay. Friends. Behold the scene of our next great adventure. You and your adventures. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Oh, setting up a little mystery. Yes. Last, we have come to the land you call the new world. My home. She looks great. Put out. I really like the design they went with. I love that. Uh, as someone who's becoming very aware of the lines in my face, mm -hmm. uh, I'm very happy to see that the Warrior of Light is also experiencing the effects of... Uh, 
subtropical sun exposure. Well, we both, you know, we both <laughs> age our MMO characters per expansion, usually. Yes. We've been a bit more linear with Final yes. Fantasy because it's yes. one big quest. Yes. And it's a rather short amount of time in general. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it makes me, it makes me happy. I, mean, I feel represented. I don't, I, I've, I've like, I've been watching anime again. Yes. So I do been, not feel represented. You've been feeling a little. Watching anime. Well, the, the, you're talking about the, the friends, Elf, you know, you're talking about the Elf. Um, Katie feels super represented. She's super stoked about a short elf. Well, I just mean she's old, you know. But oh, she's elf, you know. well, yeah, yes, but she doesn't look old. Yes, I am excited. By small note, there, I am excited for the wave of people who will finally be role playing elves with some sort of interest that that show will bring on. Because you should have mm. been doing that the whole time. Mm. Anyway, so back to yes. Don Trail Trailer yes. here. Um, fantastic. So Alphano is still on his bullshit. Is what the words there told me. Um, he he can't relax. He's still coming up with side objectives. He's like, yeah, we're gonna go to the beach, but while we're there, it is I'm his, gonna swing by Home Depot. It's his role within. Yeah. No, he's he's a the he's a quest giver. And I I did see, I, th- I, I, I Twitter's been showing me a lot of people playing Realm Reborn. I don't know. I, I, I got pulled into some Twitter conversations around the Scions in Realm Reborn versus kind of how they are now. Okay. And that maybe it was happening in our, I think this was happening in our Discord. I don't know. This is weeks ago now. But it, it really got me thinking from a story aspect, like a big reason why the Scions kind of play to the not as interesting momentum of Realm Reborn. Because they're all they all kind of blend together in personality in Realm are born. They're not as in they they are individuals, but they're not as individual as they become from Heaven's Word onward. Everyone gets very set in their role and what part they have to play within the group. Yes. Whereas in Realm are born, it's kind of like you have Minfilia, and eventually Thancred stands out, but not because he's Thancred; it's because he's being ridden by by. Uh, uh, La Habrea. La Habrea. Yeah. Um, and then everyone else just kind of feels like they're just melding together and kind of marching to Minfilia's drum. Right. Alphano gets it. Alphano stands out, but I think for a lot of people, depending on your favorite personality traits, maybe stands out for the wrong reasons. Certainly did for me. I didn't really like Alphano and Realm Reborn. No, I think you are... Sp- it's a we- like, it's weird because you get different writers too. You have an evolution of the team mm-hmm. and coming out of 1.0. But there is a there is that fellowshipy slowness, boringness to a realm we're born, which I feel is so heavily required for this deep of a story. But you're right. Like I don't, I didn't find Oriange very interesting until he was an astrologian. Yeah, yeah. I guess he, he's a little interesting in Realm we're born, and that's what I said. They, they are. They're not like completely homogenized yeah. in Realm we're born, but they're not nearly as fully fleshed out as they become. Pretty much from Heaven's Word on, although. Funny enough, in Heaven's Ward, you really don't see a lot of the other Scions. You're kind of just hanging out with the twins. Um, well, and, is, is and, even, and even Alizé comes online later into Heaven's Ward. Well, yeah, that's where she becomes a red mage, because before that, she's like a, another spectrometer, you know? She's yeah, a yeah. Because we don't start running back in the Papalimo and co. and all of them until we start dealing with Ilbert. That's an interesting point. Uh, so we really don't get to know a lot of the Scions properly until Stormblood. I mean, and anyway, so my point there is that at this point in the trajectory of Final Fantasy XIV, all of the Scions like really have their roles and, and really have their personalities like really well defined. Well, and what was Yishtola in Realm Reborn? Of, of... She was my buddy because I was hanging out in Limsa. Sure. But that that was she had like a stick and a poncho. She's a poncho mancer. Like it, there was no like personality <laughs> there until I would even say like until we got into Shadowbringers. She was a conjurer. That's right. Yeah, yeah. she was a conjurer. But, it, it, but the, yeah, she very low on the her Papalimo, Ida. They're they're well, they were kind of. just... He is a special case because she was monk. Like that was that was clear that that was maybe. Yeah, but her. also like kind of her. She was very one trick in there where she said something dumb and Papalimo got to chide her for it. That was really their whole dynamic. Do we have any left now? Because if Kryle's picked a mancing, we're, are oh, we man. all are we all scioned up let's, on the let's, let's unique find this. classes? Because uh, defining that is a pretty cool tool. You yeah. get to kind of cheer for your, not only your scion, but your job. 
I'm, I hope this means more action forward Kryle. Cause I've been waiting for Kryle to not just be someone that explains to us what's going on or gets captured. <laughs> Cause she's usually one or the other. And so far in N Walker, uh, Kryle has really mostly just been a vessel for Heidelin. Well, in N Walker. Yeah. I don't know. Kryle, but she's not like the princess effect where Kryle's constantly captured. You have to go save her. That does happen. But no, but she's it's never, she's kind of like rum or born Menphilia where she's very important, oh, but yeah. not really a part of confrontation. Yeah. I like the um, momentum on her. And so if, if, we're, if we're going full on, um, Kryle is now the poster child for the new job. I hope this means much more Kryle. Uh, like, f- I hope this means fighting alongside Kryle. I hope, yes. she, I, I hope, I hope she feels like a party member in this, in a mechanical sense of what that means. Well, in an RPG. I mean, she's always been a uh, consultant. It seems like, you know, they, yeah. they bring her in. She's not on the page. Yeah, we're aware of Eureka, but we're, we're talking main story that everyone sees. Yes. I want cry. I love Kryle and I want Kryle to get main story spotlight. Well, and, and Kryle, you know, they, these effects, man, it's a very pretty trailer. Like when it starts forming this and it's paintbrush strokes, like, Oh my, I'm frame by framing it. And it, it looks honestly fantastic. looks like a celebration of Disney. It looks like symphony or any other. Uh, it reminds me of, um, a Disney channel circa was the early two thousands where they would, did you ever you're watching the Disney channel? They yeah. trace the thing. Did you ever the see wand. the person who lined up their actual wand movements to see what they actually painted? No yes. one actually, yes, no, <laughs> no one, one, no one actually it did was a Mickey. way off. I think yeah. one of them was close, but like bomb Mickey into the whole city. Just yeah. <laughs> No, those are hilarious. Yeah. If you have, if any of shout out to uh, uh, late '90s, early 2000s Disney Channel watchers. I um, can't say I'm a fan of the giant paintbrush, but I'm hoping I would love another stylish caster class because you, you're you're the Viper man. You like the Viper. You like. I you do. Like I do like it. Funny enough, um, I, do I have this handy? I think I have this handy. Let me uh, pulled it on. Yeah, so you can. It make should it be here. There, right? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, new artwork from Jaffers just dropped. It's amazing. Oh my! Oh, it's, and it's huge. It's also it's, it's giant. It is massive. So um, if you fo- if you don't already, you should follow Jaffers on Twitter. But uh, Jaffers is a wildly, wildly talented artist. Um, probably needs no introduction because I've seen your Twitter followers, Jaffers. <laughs> um, but look at that. Look at that. Uh, funny enough, um, we're inversed on the as to how this fan art. Shakes out. Um, I am much more interested in Viper, and I think your Pictomancy speaks more to you. I think you look good in a tube top, though, so. <laughs> uh, go support Jaffers, and uh, at least support Jaffers by following Jaffers. I, lo- I love the way people draw Valgant. He's, he, you guys give him so much personality. He's, I love it. I, love He's, it. I mean, yeah, Ellis, the Ellison really do kind of have muted emotes. Yeah. Um, so I think they're a little more of a blank slate in terms of how to interpret them. Speaking of, I think that's why, you know, we're less muzzly on the female Hrothgar. Oh, okay. Because well, we need to attach to the old face. Let's head right back that where it was. I think this looks freaking fantastic. And I'm sure I'm going to go back to our cheat sheet here. There's probably going to be... There's a full trailer. We'll yeah. To see him in game. Yeah, so cool. we'll get to see the game model. Okay. But from a, you know, a pre-rendered proper, like, cinematic, um, I think this looks fantastic. Very... I'm very pleased by this. Personal problem here. The lip connecting the nose always freaks me out because I expect it to open up like Blade 2. <laughs> what the, and I always that's think that's like, how cats and felines. Yeah, when, you know, it's a tiny cat. I don't worry about it because like the dog in Blade 3, you know, showing my massive blade knowledge here. The well, dog wasn't scary. But I do I like fear it. that that's going to somehow open up Arr. and unleash Arr. tentacles. Or some sort of beast inside. Arr, arr, looks better in game. I I I rather hey, like this. Looks, yeah. I I clearly I guess there's Discord on this, but I, I like it. Yeah, I'm into it. And well, you gotta you gotta be able to sync to faces. You can't go back and redo every animation across. Like it's probably an Elizin. <laughs> cut, cutscene Elizin would be around J, I guess. Like how many Elizins have appeared in pre-rendered cutscenes? Well, I'm just, no, well, I'm not trailers. Saying, yeah, the trailers, I'm not concerned. I'm talking about in-game. Oh, in-game. Because game. you need to make a couple faces across, you know, your your Warrior of Light emotes. So you do need to make sure your new characters you put in are somehow attached to the skeletal structure of the previous. Mm. So you don't overload yourself. 
uh, uh, Chibi in chat does ask the the million dollar question: Can female Roth girls wear hats? Mm. Is that confirmed or denied? Do we know? Do I we don't know, know if they can wear hats? Has that been brought up? I'm assuming that ended up in at a Q and A. I mean, or, it's, it's a, or an it's a FAQ. Hot topic. Um, uh, well, I mean, Hot Topic does indeed sell hats. Uh, of course not. No, Yoshi hinted turbans confirmed. Oh, so that would so probably just some. Okay. That would kind of match the new atmosphere. So newer hats, yes. They hats, have no. not shown them wearing hats, or you shall see soon. Celebratory moment okay. of, of hat wearing. All right. Okay. Um, this is a phenomenal trailer. Oh, dude, I love fire inside monsters so much. Ever since the the new uh, the the new North American Godzillas do that effect really well. They do. Uh, you know, the Balrog. The Balrog had an amazing oh, yeah. fire mouth. Just, so that yeah. Godzilla beast Ooh. they were fighting earlier was it was beautiful. Yeah, I, I I'm really I'm really into this. You know, my uh, our for some of our friends that may be on other podcasts that we love uh, they, they that don't aren't regularly playing Final Fantasy 14, they keep referring to this as the vacation expansion, and I think they've really taken that at the heart that they think this is going to be a low stakes. What's how it's re- to relaxing get start. I, it's, it's going to start, start that way. Yeah. It is not yeah. going to stay well, that way. Alpha knows here to say that that's not the it case. Is, yeah. He's got a side mission, his side hustle. We're, we are clearly teasing exactly. that there's more to this. Like, yeah. and I'm, I don't even think we're not even gonna have to wait till patch content before the oh, end, yeah. before the first set of credits, there's going to be some big reveal yeah. of the na- the next big threat. Absolutely. That's being, that is being thrust upon us. They showed the wild west. I want elegant UFOs. I want to go like I want to go back to. Omega. I think you're going to get that. I'm not. I don't think it's going to be out. I don't yet. think it's full. I don't. I don't think that's the main threat. I still think it's going to be like mock. Oh well, because that blurred out section. Oops, sorry. Oops. When they had when they showed us the West Art and then they, they, they like just blotched out a whole corner and wrote spoiler UFO. It looked a little purpley. It does look a little purple. It is purple in there, and I see purple, and I think mock. Also, I think we've done enough elegant stuff. They do come up in the original. Well, like, what are you even calling this? Are we calling this the Endwalker arc? And this new one will be, yeah. Do they have have they Dawn Trail? Like, are we gonna like? Because there's a clean break. Adam yeah. Walker is what everyone has led us to believe. I remember hearing um, that Yoshi was playing with the idea of doing a, you know, an aisle like World of Warcraft does, where there's going to be some sort of, if you want to just jump to Dawn Trail, you can do the mini aisle, get your bearings, and then you're inserted okay. into the game, All which right. would be very smart. Send your ass to Elpis and just be like, you're an assy and here's your assy and buddies. This yeah, is what happened. Like, Go. Like your, your inner spirit is this, and that's why you have power anyway. Go enjoy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like, you catch them up real quick. I could say, oh, Elpis would be a, do- I mean, we haven't finished on Walker yet, but Elpis would be a dope place to do a new yeah. starting experience. Yeah, it's new looking too. Yeah. And that's what yes. you want to show, right? You don't want to. Yeah, as long as you, as long as they turn off fog. Yes. Well, there's always the threat. Put but we, your but best we did get, foot forward. We still got lightning when we got to the, the city that we were going to when we were invading the Xenos. And he was in the yeah. building. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. So I give up fog for that. That's yeah. okay. 